well, good morning. It's um, Thursday the 26th of October 2017. It's about 10.30 and it's very overcast, very cold this morning. Um, not much planned for today. We're going to um, head in about three miles down the road into Dunork, into the History Links Museum. Um, so that the kids can have a look around and uh, learn a bit about the uh, area we're staying in. But as you can see, it is very, very, very overcast this morning. Having said that, the sun is in the background. So there we go. Join us later. Well, we've arrived in Dunork. The weather's still cold. Uh, I'm not a diva with sunglasses on. I've um, just forgot my other glasses so to enable me to see I've got to wear something so I'm not being rude anyway we're here and we're going to make our way over to the History Links Museum which I believe is the building behind us with the um, solar panels on the roof so come along well we've arrived we're here um, not sure what it's all about but there's only one way to find out let's go in and have a look How many miles? Nine. How many miles of track had the Dutch Railway? How do you write? How do you write? Excuse me. No, be Well, you go in expecting you one thing go and come out. Um, that was really good. Uh, worth worth the money to go in, and it's very little money to go in. Um, the volunteers are really helpful. Um, there's a lot to see and learn. Uh, it's kept my children quiet for nearly an hour uh, doing the quiz. Um, so yeah, it's it's definitely worth it. Um, yeah, for the for the lady that suggested this to me on Moto Madness, uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, right, onwards and upwards. We're going to go and have a look round the jail now. I 
well excuse the background noise but we're actually in the old courthouse in Dunork uh, which has been converted into a tea rooms so we are um, we're, we've just ordered and um, I just I like the thing behind us don't know if you can see it but people sitting in a court how cool is that yeah so we're um, at the moment we're, we've just ordered and we're waiting for some food um, it's rather a good day Dunork has a lot to offer Well, we've just eaten in the um, uh, the old courthouse in uh, in Dunork. Um, if you're coming here, it's above the tourist information centre, and um, the food is amazing. A little pricey, um, but is it is very nice. Uh, I mean, I've just fed seven. Well, we've just seven people uh, have just eaten, and nearly seventy quid, um, which I, I guess isn't too bad, but. Uh, compared to prices of other things locally. Um, but yeah, very, very nice. And it's the, the courthouse has been done up. Uh, it is really, really nice. Really nice. Um, as I've said previously, like everything else in Scotland, it, there's, a, there's a sense of pride um, and everything's done to a, you know, a very high standard and it's really, really noticeable. The people are amazingly friendly um, and just can't do enough for you. Whether it's just the tourist thing, I don't know, but we've not had any bad experiences really since we've been here. But uh, there you go. Well, we're inside um, the jail at Dunork, which is no longer a jail has been turned into little shops uh, and the corridor behind us is uh, it's got cells leading off of it so we've just walked out of one which um, which is a well, it's got cuddly toys and god knows what else in it um, but this is two cells knocked into one they're not that spacious and the doors I'll go into one where the doors are uh, well wide uh, but uh, I shall turn the camera around you can see the doors and the entrances there we go and there's the original doorway into a cell size of the cells as well. But they didn't smell like this one does now. Shame this hasn't got smelly vision. Well we've come for a ride about and um, we've just found the car park at the side of the Royal Dunork Golf Course. Uh, and we're now right on the beach. Uh, unfortunately you can't park here with a motorhome because you're only allowed to stay for four hours. Um, but what I have found is that um, on the entrance in is the um, a camping and caravan club site. I don't know whether it's a, a camping and caravan club, but the way it's worded, it looks like it. But that is um, sort of like just behind us. Where are we? So like just behind us. So um, and then there's the uh, lifeboat, little lifeboat station there. So we're going to go and have a walk along the beach. Uh, come join us. Talk about the hidden gem. Um, I've been coming to Embo and Dunalk for about 15 years, and I've never ever ventured down onto the beach. Uh, I've been missing loads.
well on the side of the Royal Dunalk golf course now. Um, probably about the only time you'll ever get me anywhere near a golf course. Tried it twice. The first time I was amazing. Went out and brought all the bats and everything. Played it the second time. It took me about 20 hours. Decided that golf wasn't for me. So still got the bats in the garage.